Hey guys, C-Max signing in and welcome to another FIFA 17 video and today I'm going to be bringing you a bit of a tips and tricks video, a video that will allow you to get better at FIFA 17 and amongst all that, a video that will make you a better player. I'll pretty much be showing you how to win games on FIFA 17 or at the least how to improve your chance of actually winning more games when you come to play the game. Now at the time of recording this video, the full game is not fully out so you're probably thinking how have you figured this out, how have you found a way around this. So I'm pretty much going to talk you through it as well as show you throughout this video. Now if you do go on to enjoy this make sure to smash that like button it's gonna 150 plus likes that allow me to keep making these daily videos for you guys also don't forget to subscribe if you're new as that'll be very much appreciated and with that said let's get into the video Now from actually playing quite a lot of the FIFA 17 demo on Legendary, I noticed that when you play the ball to the wings or to the wider players and then try to attack from there, you actually have increased chances of getting the ball in to score goals. Also long shots are very effective. And by very effective, I don't mean shooting from the halfway line is going to get you goals. I mean shooting from just outside the 18 yard box. But anyways, you come to see everything I'm talking about when I jump into a game and pretty much try to show you what I'm talking about. Now obviously I'm going to start off by picking teams, I don't want to make this too easy for me so i'm going to be manchester united and i'm going to be playing against real madrid as you probably know that's the best team on the demo i mean united's got a 90 attack but overall real madrid is a better team as they do have players like cristiano ronaldo onto the team management now i'm actually going to show you one of the most important parts to actually allow you to win more games and that formation and the right formation to use so the formation i found works quite a lot of works very well is a 442 holding formation so that's the formation with the two cd I know it doesn't show them as CDMs there, but you're gonna have to trust me guys And this formation has been amazing for me so far now in terms of players to use in this formation You want to make sure you've got one strong striker and one pacey striker Which I'll be able to do United as you see in the second and out on the wings or right mid left mid You need pacey players if you don't have pacey players there This just won't work. So I'm quickly gonna mix the team around to fit what I've just said as you can see there I'm gonna put Rooney in the CDM position take off Schneiderlin for Rushford and I take Mkhitaryan off because Depay is faster I know Depay doesn't play on that side I'm gonna swap him in a second and then as you'll be able to see soon enough we now have two pacey players on the right and left mid up top with Ibrahimovic who's a very strong player and also Rushford next to him possibly swap these two about to make sure that you know Ibrahimovic has a better chance of scoring in fact I might actually do that and obviously Rashford is there to support him and he has the pace as well so he can really help out with the team defensive wise you want to make sure your two CDM players are very strong players as you can see that Rooney is quite a strong player same with Pogba the defense isn't too bad as well Smalley and Bailey both tall big center back Charles quite pacey Valencia is quite pacey so when it comes to your defense you want to make sure you have strong CDMs strong center backs and just pacey left and right back when it comes to the actual gameplay it'll make it easier no matter who you play against now onto the game settings i'm actually going to show you guys i am playing on legendary as you can see there i think i've played about 10 maybe even more than 10 games and i've won at least six seven games playing on legendary hasn't been easy but the formation i've been using the way i've been playing has made it a lot easier than it was and with me saying that hopefully you guys can pick up some of the things i'm talking about try them out and win more games for yourself when the full release of the game is out all right so we We've got a kickoff as you can see here guys first thing i like to start off by doing is pretty much passing around because it allows you to get into the game kind of get your head straight because if you try to attack straight away there's higher chance of you actually losing the ball and conceding and then once you kind of get into the floor of things you want to push up to all out attack i do this straight away because you know it allows you to get a quick goal most of the time and obviously if you're not starting off kicking off you want to do the opposite of that you want to start off parking the boss and you don't concede straight away it might sound like a dickish thing to do but it's just not as bad as you think guys and it allows you to win more games so it's definitely worth trying out all right let's go rushford's there he needs more options boom there we go using the wings like i said before first chance bang and it's one nil guys I mean, these methods I'm using, they actually do work. It might just sound like I'm saying what I'm saying to make this video watchable, but look, it's 1-0, guys. I mean, it's allowed me to win games on Legendary. So if I'm doing well on Legendary, imagine how you guys would do when you play against people online that aren't as good as the computer on Legendary. I mean, things are still starting up now. Let's see how the game goes. Let's keep this going. You lose the ball, park the bus is usually the go-to thing. Otherwise, things like that 
sometimes will actually go in so you need to be as defensive as you can till you get the ball back it's the only way and it's the easiest way to kind of get yourself better at the game when you first start off because not all people will be amazing at fifa 17 going on all out attack again got the ball need to get a few passes together not trying to lose the ball straight away here there we go come on valencia use those wings boom ah oh, yes valencia keep moving Ah, oh, just before I had the chance to cross it in again, he just about loses it, but using the wings is a very effective way of actually playing. And it also helps if you've got a fast right or left back, because they can kind of overlap, if you know what I mean. And it's always good to kind of slow things down as well, because if you try to keep up with like a fast pace, sometimes it will end up in you conceding. But right now, it's on part of the bus, because I've just been trying to win the ball back. But now I've got it, I can slowly try to create space. And then push up to all out attack again. As you can see here, oh, no one's up there to support me, so. It's gonna be a bit chilled with this. Ebra doesn't look like he's breaking through. Oh, referee, that's a free kick. No free kick there. Wow. Now, through ball. Ebra, come on. Who's there? Who's supporting him? Just cross it in. Another cross. Bang! Oh, and it's another goal by Rashford. I mean, these crosses are as effective as anything. I keep pushing it out to the wings, crossing it in. And as you can see there, it's the second time round it's worked in the game. And it's pretty much 2 0. So it shows you guys just how effective this way of play actually is. At half time, as you can see, it's 2 0 to me. I'm playing on legendary. 63% of the ball position is mine. And pretty much we're all over the field. I mean, if you don't believe that I'm playing at legendary, as soon as the game finishes, I'll jump to the settings again to show you that it is on legendary. And yeah, let's jump into the second half, guys. There we go. Great defending. Get the pass away. Okay. And again, ah, uh, that was a poor pass. They're coming in at us with pretty much everything they have stand them up bang let's get it out there boom this is where you have to stay calm and collected so you don't lose the ball pretty much because if you lose it here the chances of the team coming at you and scoring are high so as you can see i'm just keeping my calm got the lead so i don't want to really push it too hard otherwise i could end up conceding boom great defending push it out on the wing Come on, Depay. Depay. Oh, great block. Okay, boom. Rashford. Nah, on the wing. Wide. Cross it in. Rashford's there. Oh, my days. Rashford is on a hat trick, guys. Pretty much putting it to the wing, crossing it in is getting me my goals, as you can see. That's the most effective method. I mean, three goals from that. As soon as the other team kicks off, guys, I'm on park the boss straight away. I'm not trying to concede oh my days there's nothing i could do about that i jumped to part the bus as quick as i could but once again i am on legendary so it's not gonna be easy we're still in the lead though hopefully we can keep that up let's not concede let's get the ball out all right this is where you have to stay calm there's not many options open rufford's through though nah he needs support ibra's there ibra oh what a tackle all right i've watched him all the way bang that was a great block. I know my controls kind of come off again, but that was a great block. If you're in the lead at this time, I mean, you don't really have to go on all out attack. You've already got the goals. You can park the bus if you want to make sure you win, which I'm currently doing right now because I want to make sure I win. <laughs> or you could just keep playing normal, but then that way the chances of you actually conceding are high. So yeah, I'm just going to keep parking the bus. A lot of you guys might hate me for that, but that's what you need to do to win. There we go, guys. That's the end of the game. And we finished it 3-1. One, playing against Real Madrid, the best current team on the demo on Legendary. To pretty much sum up what you have to do if you want to win more games, or if you just want to win in FIFA 17, firstly, you have to make sure that you have the right formation. As I said earlier on, 4 2 2 holding. Once you start the game, if you're kicking off, you want to go on all out attack. If you're not kicking off, you want to make sure you're parking the bus so you don't concede earlier on. You have to make sure you're patient with your passes. Because in this game, if you're not patient with the passes, you're not going to get anything done. You keep losing the ball and you concede. And when you do have the ball, and if you are patient with your passes look for the wings because if you can get it onto your wing players they'll run through get the ball into the box and you will score as you saw me doing this video nevertheless that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure
sure to drop a like if you did if we're gonna 150 plus likes that would be amazing if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe as that would be very much appreciated if you want to keep on seeing more videos like this i've also got a video showing you guys how to take penalties in fifa 17 if you haven't seen that i'll link that down in the description and also down in the description you can check out my snapchat twitter instagram if you want to talk to me outside youtube and yeah for today that's it and this is T Max signing out. Thanks for watching, guys, and see ya. I nearly forgot, guys. I said I'll prove it to you guys that I was playing on Legendary. So before this video is over, just just watch. It's the same game you can currently see on the screen. Three one to me. I'm gonna advance. I'm not doing any editing trickery here. I'm just gonna go to go into a random match just to prove it to you guys that that was on Legendary. Because some of you guys might be like, oh, maybe it wasn't playing on Legendary. Maybe this maybe that but yeah i'm not actually going to jump into a game with these teams i'm just proving to you guys i had been playing on legendary as you can see there settings are still the same nothing's been changed 3-1 on legendary with the tips and tricks i told you guys go out there try it out beat your friends and yeah i'm out guys Let me see that